OK, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to change the eye colour in a portrait photo. But, of course, you can go ahead and apply this technique to any subject, really. So firstly then, we're going to focus on using Photo's recolour adjustment and mask it to specific areas in order to recolour the eyes. So, if we move across to the Adjustments Studio here, we can scroll down until we find Recolour, tap to add it, now, I appreciate it looks very disturbing to begin with, but what we're going to do is invert this adjustments mask. Now, just a quick point is that adjustments and live filters in photo inherently have their own masks. So you might be coming from software where the procedure to do this is to clip a new mask layer to that adjustment. In photo, you don't have to do that. It already has its own mask on the layers studio. So to invert this mask, what we want to do is find our way across to the Channels Studio here. And then you see we have here Layer Recolor Adjustment, and we can't read the rest of that, but it actually says Recolor Adjustment Alpha. So if we tap the three dots next to this, we have several options here, and I'm going to choose Invert. OK, so now that we've inverted the mask, we need to paint back in over the areas we want to affect. So to do this, I'm going to pinch into the eyes one at a time. And across on our tools here, I'm going to select the paintbrush tool here. Then in order to reveal areas of this mask or paint back onto it, we need to make sure our color is set to white. So down here, I'm going to tap color and just drag the node across until it's a pure white. So that step is quite important. Then I'm going to double check my width. Yes, that's about right. And all I do then is simply paint in over the areas I want to affect. OK, so I'm going to need to adopt a smaller brush width in a minute. Well, not just a minute, in a second. And we'll just go in there. Paint these areas in as well. OK. OK, then I need to move across to the other eye. Now, when you have a tool selected, you can still drag around the canvas. It's just that rather than use one finger, you have to use a two-finger drag. Otherwise, a single-finger drag would actually apply the tool that we've got currently active. OK, so with the other eye, I'll just go ahead and paint in. Just block it out quickly, then go in and fill in the trickier bits. OK, like so. I've deliberately gone a bit over the edges here because I'm just going to show you how to erase from a mask or paint off it. OK, so then we need to tidy this mask up a bit. And the way to do that is to switch the colour to black. So once again, I'll tap on the colour wheel here, drag the node all the way to a pure black. And I'm just going to go around the edges here, just to kind of tidy it up a little bit like so. OK, that's a bit of a rough job, but it will demonstrate for the purposes of this tutorial. So then I'll select the View tool just to enable my single finger dragging across the canvas. And to fit to screen, all we need to do is double tap on the canvas with two fingers, like so. <laughs> OK. So yes, like I said, very disturbing, but we'll come to that. I'll open up the Layers Studio, and then to get back the settings for the adjustment, I can simply double tap the adjustment. Then down here, we have the relevant options that we need to change. So I'm going to go for a sort of a jade color to this model's eyes. I'll drag the hue slider to around about 75 degrees, and then I need to severely reduce the saturation. So let's take that right the way down to sort of between 10 and 15% really. 
about 14% ought to do it. And then further to that, I can also tweak the opacity to control the overall strength of the recoloring. I might go for a more subtle tone to the eyes. And like I've mentioned, it was a bit of a rough job, so we've got some blue tone around the edges here. But the beautiful thing about masks is that they're non-destructive. So at any point we can go back in with the paintbrush tool. I can change the color back to white. And we can just add in to the mask at any point. So we've got complete control over the effect. All right then, I'm just going to explore a different approach to recoloring eyes. So I'm going to delete this recolor adjustment just by tapping the little bin icon up here. And then what I'll do this time is create a new pixel layer. So I'll tap the plus icon, choose new pixel layer. Then I'll tap the more icon and we want to set the blend mode here to color. Okay. So I'll just hide the Layers Studio, give us a bit more space to work with. Once again, I'll pinch to zoom into the eyes. And as before, I'll select the Paintbrush tool. But this time, we're not painting with white or black. We're actually going to be painting with color. So I can tap color. And then on the color wheel, I can drag towards a sort of a in-between red and yellow here. And then just drag the node right down. I want a very dark brown. Okay, so then I'll double check my width here, that's about right, and I'll just paint into the eye once again. Like so. Okay, and then adopt a smaller brush width. to tackle these more difficult areas up here. Okay, and then two finger drag across to the other eye. I'll just increase the brush width again. Paint in these areas. Okay, I've gone into the iris a bit there, but not to worry, we can tackle that. I'll just reduce the brush width again. Paint in these areas. And we're good to go, I reckon. So, as I've just mentioned, I've painted accidentally over the iris here. Not a problem. All we do is switch across to the erase brush. And I'll just bring the width down, pinch right in, and just erase around the edge of the iris there. Okay, good. So once again, double tap with two fingers to fit to screen. And as before, we can use opacity on the Layers Studio here. So making sure I've got the pixel layer selected, I can tap more. And then I can just drag the opacity. And as we can see, that controls the overall strength of the recolor effect. Right, and that is about it for this tutorial. Just wanted to show you a couple of useful little ways to quickly recolor a subject's eyes. But again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't forget, you can try this out on any kind of image. And of course, any kind of subject material. So, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.